This is the uh, Machon Leiv uh, Chess Club puzzle number one solution video. Uh, also an introduction to chess puzzles and chess notation. So uh, from looking at the board from white, uh, first uh, you'll notice that in the bottom left corner we have here A and 1. The name of this square is A1. So we continue to B1, C1, D1, etc. until you come to the other corner h1. So now every position on the board is represented by a letter and a letter number combination. For instance, the location of this queen here is d6. Uh, now you'll also see in notation um, a the, the notation will start with a, a capital letter like a capital Q meaning the queen and then it'll either have so for it'll either have uh, then a location like Q e3, meaning that the queen moves to e3, or if there's a, an attack, if there's an, a, a capture involved, like for instance, if the queen eats the knight, so then it would be Q, and then the letter X in lowercase, meaning takes e6, which is the location of where the queen is moving to, also letting you know that it destroyed a piece there. So this move is queen takes e6. So now looking at this chess problem, we notice that the king is already already has himself cornered, and that this whole uh, column here, the h the h column, is uh, pretty much open for attack. Now we see that uh, our goal here is, is obviously to checkmate black. Um, so we see if we could attack this row, the king only has one defense, which is moving from h8 to g8. And if we could attack him again there, he has nowhere to run to because this pawn at g6 is, is, uh, is attacking f7, which would be his only means of, esca of escape. So now how can we attack the black king? We could attack it with our queen by moving our queen to h2. The only problem with that is h2 is being defended by the black queen, which it, this would end up actually uh, being un, unfortunate for us, because uh, now we lose our queen. So that's not a good move. So we need to do a preparation move before we can do that attack. So let's say that we take this bishop and we block that diagonal. So we block the diagonal, and the queen is not going to come and take uh, the bishop on e5 because it's being defended by the knight here. So he's going to come in and, and attack it with the pawn. So pawn takes e5. Now from this point uh, the diagonal is being blocked and so we uh, the white is free to move the queen to h2 causing check. The only legal move that black has is to move from h8 to g8 and at this point the queen can just simply come up which is protected by the pawn and um, and is attacking the king and the king has nowhere to run because of the pawn again and so thus we have checkmate. So that's the solution to this puzzle and an explanation as to how to read the answer in uh, algebraic chess notation. Thanks and come back for more.